guys, Caleb here. I want to do a quick little video today for Action Launcher 3, new update. Um, it's actually not even that new, it's been out for a while, but I posted a screenshot, got several questions, and uh, I just thought, based off that, maybe this would help someone. So, my screen right now is uh, how I typically would leave Action Launcher 3. This is uh, Android Oreo, I'm rocking a Pixel, and uh, you know, I don't do anything fancy, you know, I just kind of have the app drawer, you know, swipe up, we'll pull up the keyboard for a quick find for an app so you can kind of jump uh, quickly, um, kind of keep my agenda there, and if I swipe one word to the right, it pulls up Google Now. I uh, should point out, Action Launcher 3 now has a second app you can load, and that will allow kind of more native Google Now integration. I did that, but I just prefer swiping to the right and pulling it up that way. I, it just seems to work just fine. I don't need another app for that. Um, all right, so some of the people questioned my uh, quick bar at the bottom. Uh, Action Launcher 3 by default puts it up at the top. I find that difficult to reach with my thumb. Um, also, the widget that's Action Launcher's and some didn't even know how to put that on there. So I'm just gonna long press, I'll go to widget, action launchers up here at the top. You can scroll over and you can see all the different options there. There's the quick bar that I added, which you can resize, uh, the weather, activities, etc. cetera. Uh, so you just click on weather, add it to your screen, drag and resize it, whatever you need to do. All right, so anyway, uh, back to my screen on the Quick bar, you notice I've got several icons set up down here, like that uh, light bulb in the bottom right. If I were to click that, that would cut my living room lights on. It toggles the lights on or off. Um, and working to the left, that kind of disco ball looking one, it just takes the living room lights down to 50% brightness, um, like watching TV at night or something. Plus one, that's you know simple. It just loads the calculator app that I prefer, Calc Plus, uh, the cloud, weather, shocker, um, and then the compass is my radar, so if I want to get a little more detailed view about the weather, uh, rain, whatever. I do have some gestures set up, nothing you know crazy, you know, I mentioned the swipe up for the quick find in the app drawer, but typically I'll just use um, something like that. Uh, the other is if I double tap, it changes the wallpaper, and that's set up using uh, Action launchers, double tap for an empty space, and then I use tap it from a wallpaper app. Um, I'll show you guys a little more about that. Hopefully we'll get a good wallpaper to look at here in a little bit. Um, I like the one I just had. Hmm. All right, well that's cool. We'll leave it on that one. All right, so let's go, let's go straight into settings. We'll try and make this quick, I apologize. Uh, on the themes, I, I yeah, you can click just wallpaper. That's probably the best way to do it. Um, but once I do that, I usually will go through and make everything dark muted, sometimes dark vibrant, whatever. Um, quick bar, you know, I've got it showing none now, but for purposes of this, I will point out, you can click on search box custom, click OK, and uh, we'll let Action Launcher reload, but that'll be a more traditional Action Launcher view right there. Uh, some of you guys may not know, um, you can also change that to be an action bar. So I'll just change it to that, click uh, home, wait for it to load. And the reason why I like that one is because it actually just takes the whole top of the screen. There's not that like border. So for some setups that might look a lot better. Um, just you know, want to make sure you knew it was there. Um, all right, so let me change it back to search box custom. And you know these little icons that we alluded to, um, the the ones with the hue lights. I use Tasker to do that. Um, some people were asking me how you set that up in the Quick Bar. Click the little plus box, go to Custom. There are three criteria or three um, ways that you can set up those little icons. Uh, by default, Action Launcher gives you uh, a lot of pre-built ones here. Those actions, the app category. You select an app, and it, if clicked on, it opens that app. It's pretty straightforward. And then there are 
shortcuts. Be sure you check out the acti activity launcher activities. That one's pretty neat. Uh, some apps have um, shortcuts already built in, but I'm going to go down to task shortcut for Tasker. Here are the uh, tasks that I've set up since updating to Oreo. Um, let's say find my phone. We'll click on that. This is what I have Tasker do when this task runs. So we'll back out. Um, oh, for this one I have to create an icon. Sorry, we'll just click that one. Um, all right, so we've got that. We'll say that's the icon. And now you see that little recycle sign up there has been added. And these can be um, moved in the order if you want them to. You just long click and drag it. Uh, so we'll back out, we'll hit home. I don't think I'm gonna hit that task because if I do, my phone's gonna make a ton of noise, uh, which is not ideal for this video. Um, and since I don't want two quick bars, we'll go ahead and go back in here and we'll turn that off. We'll go to none, click OK, uh, and then that's all there is to it. All right, uh, icons and app shortcuts. Uh, I just go with the bubble and the dots. Uh, the icon pack that I'm looking at uh, currently is Almug. I don't know how you pronounce that. I'm sure. Um, thank you guys for the positive feedback on on that, though. People seem to really like that icon pack, so hopefully you guys will check that one out. Um, everything else, no real changes there. On the app drawer, typically I'll just kind of go through and I'll hide apps that I don't like seeing there mostly icon packs and apps that I just don't really use very often. You know, I mentioned that I use the Calc Plus, so I hide the calculator, stock calculator, things like that. Um, I think if you take out those apps and just make things look a little neater, it's definitely worth it. Um, also I have the Quick Find on, and I've got it set to the default keyboard. You can also make it T9 if you'd like. So we'll click OK, we'll go back home, uh, and then now when I swipe up, we'll have it, this view of it. So, you know, Tasker as well as I was doing earlier, we'll just do it that way. So, whichever way you prefer, you've got choices there. Um, and there's that. There's the quick drawer and then the letter shortcuts option. Um, and you can sort different ways, but app name seems most logical to me. All right, let's see. What else did we were going to look at? The... Uh, desktop I use a 5 by 7 you know I, I mentioned the Google now integration I don't use that but that's where that would be um, sorry I realized my video is taking up some of that I do not use infinite screen scrolling that's because when I swipe all the way to the right I've got Google now launched as a gesture we'll show that in a little bit I don't use the quick page I figure that's just something I don't need and it takes our resources um, so I do the margins to small, I think that looks better. Um, and I don't do a scrolling wallpaper, uh, specifically you know, for, for tap it, I just think it looks better without it not moving. Um, here is your weather settings, I've got it set to Fahrenheit. You can change how often it updates and also the geofence uh, sizing which is really nice to be able to do. The dock, I disable, uh, if you like seeing the same icons on each of your screens by all means. Um, folders and shutters, I don't think I really changed anything here. Maybe I did the uh, muted again. Uh, that's pretty consistent colors. All right, so now we're getting down to the shortcuts. Um, my home button, if I double tap it, quick settings. Uh, if I double tap an empty space, that randomize that we're showing right there, that's for tap it. Uh, let's see. Swipe up is the quick find. That's how we got the little T9 keyboard a little bit ago. Uh, swipe down for notifications. And over here, the swipe horizontal, you see there on the right screen edge or the rightmost uh, home screen, I've got that set to just launch Google. That's all you have to do to do that. So why everybody was bugging in the world for Google Now integration, I'm sure there's benefits, but that seemed pretty simple and does the same thing in my opinion. Um, I'll probably get comments about that. Damn. Alright, so there's the basic 
uh, shortcuts that I have. I used to have it to where when you double tap the home screen, it would uh, lock the screen. Um, I saw a note that you know he was asked to take that feature out. If you want that, you can still do something like that with Tasker. Um, I'm trying to find a way to do it without it locking the screen, so you don't have to keep logging in uh, with your uh, password or whatever. But uh, I know there's apps that do that. I just can't remember which ones they are. Um, so that's pretty much it for my settings. Um, and you know, we mentioned some of these taskers down here, uh, tasks. So I'm gonna just do a really quick pull up of tasker. People tend to appreciate when I go through those. Um, this is bare bones. I just started creating these since I updated Oreo probably about five days ago. Uh, so I've got some basic profiles and then associated task, and then I have just a couple of scenes. Um, like the find my phone that we were talking about earlier. Anytime I tell Google Home to call my phone, it cranks up the volume, the screen pulls up, and it plays all of my music from my music directory. And I have it set to play for like 20 minutes or something. Um, and then when I get my phone, I click on that little picture, the audio cuts off, all my settings get set back to where they were prior. Really, really nice to have if you ever lose your phone. And all you really need to do is just go into um, here and create a task and say, crank my media volume up, tell it to play all the music in my music directory, uh, and then show that scene. And then that's it. So then when you go here and you tell uh, QuickBar to set a, an action for that task, um, it's just click a little button. It can't be any easier. Um, and that's kind of how I did those with the, the Hue light bulbs a second ago. So anyway, at this point I'm rambling. I've showed you guys Action Launcher 3 briefly pulled up Tasker. Uh, if you guys want Tasker videos, uh, just let me know what you're interested in. I'll try and get those knocked out. And uh, oh, gosh, you know, you guys do also ask me kind of what's on my phone. Uh, now's probably a good time to look because this is bare bones for me. I'll swipe up. Um, you know, basic messaging. I got Allo. I'm just trying it out. Once they did the web version of it, no one still uses it, so it's still pointless. WhatsApp signal. Yeah, yeah. Um, my social media apps here. I don't really use Google Plus as much as I used to. Uh, Relay is a freaking fantastic Reddit client. Instagram, Metal for Facebook. I don't want Facebook on my phone. That wrapper works perfectly good. Um, so. Yeah, Instagram, whatever. Uh, I think I had some different phone apps. Uh, the photo scan, which is nice from Google to take pictures of old photos and kind of get that gloss off of them. Uh, and that's Framelapse Pro for time lapses. I got some basic works, Podio, American Airlines, Skype, stuff like that. My music apps, um, play music, uh, podcast apps, podcast, it's a winner, obviously. NPR, stuff like that. Um, a few basic little workout apps, um, trying to do the push-ups and sit-ups, stuff like that. Um, scroll over here, Oop. and you guys can get an idea of what's on my phone, probably a little easier this way. Um, notification listener, hey, let's talk about that. That's how you get rid of the persistent system notification um, that shows up with Oreo. So that's probably pretty big. Uh, there's a post on XDA that shows how to do that. So I will link that in the video description if anyone's interested in getting rid of the persistent background system app for Android Oreo. Scroll through here. I'm still addicted to fives. That's like one of the best games ever. It's better than threes. Same for Duet. Those games I can just get into forever. Um, the Tuner Pro, best tuner app for a guitar, easily. Uh, some basic games. Mm. Let's see, anything else down here? Oh, Tunity, that's cool. That app, you can show your screen live TV and it will route the audio to your phone. So if you're at a bar watching a game and you can't hear, just pull up Tunity. Uh, and your phone will turn into a speaker for the TV at the bar. I use it at night when my wife's sleeping. It's awesome. Um, anything else kind of in there? I think that's basically it. So, 
anyway, if you guys have questions, comments, just let me know. Good talking to you guys.